Now you probably think I don't like revolvers because you really don't see them on my channel. But listen, I absolutely adore revolvers. I mean, look, look at this beauty right here. Look at this beauty right here. And look at this classic beauty right here. But today is all about this little baby, the KWC Model 357. So on the top here, we have what looks like a pretty decent full color manual. Well, maybe not full color. You have your exploded view along with a parts list. So that's pretty handy and your do's and don'ts. And on this side of the manual, you've got your three variants depicted right here. So you have your 2.5 inch, your four inch, and your six inch. And right here, it's your instructions on how to get this little bad boy ready and how to use it. So what do we get in the box? Well, you can see the lovely model right there, but you also get a speed loader and I'll show you that a little later. So we'll take that out, put it to one side, before we touch this lovely little thing right there, let's get under here to see what accessories are included. So straight away, I can see you get a Allen key. You get a free little bag of BBs. And last but not least, not by a long shot, no pun intended, you have a pack of shells. Now, I know in the real steel world, cartridges, but for the purpose of this airsoft review, it's a shell or six of them, should I say. Awesome. And that's what excites me the most because it makes it so much more authentic. But is it practical for gameplay? We'll get into that later. So here we go. Here's the piece itself. And wow, surprisingly, this thing is heavy. Just look at the size comparison to my six inch Dan Wesson. And when I hold both of these in my hands, the weight, I can't tell the difference between the two. This is a solid bit of kit. So, you know, my first thoughts on this out of the box is simply one word, wow. But don't get me wrong. You know, I haven't even fired this thing yet. I haven't tested it at all, it could be a pile of trash. So when I say wow, and I absolutely love it, I'm just talking about how it looks and oh my gosh, how it feels. The weight is very substantive. The weight should be coming up on your screen now, but I do believe we are looking at around the two pounds mark around there. And it really does, yep, it really does have a nice rubberized grip. Now, if you look at this grip, it goes without saying the ergonomics on this is nice. Very nice. You've got that sort of diamond effect on the grip, which will ensure you get a nice sturdy hold of this piece. And you've got your serrations down the back strap. And of course, look at these finger grooves right here. Very nice. Now, although this can be seen as the little baby of revolvers, the grip on this is colossal. If you look at it, it's a full on, full size grip. Look, it almost looks out of proportion, but I love it. Now let's take a look at the rest of this revolver and the features that you get in such a small package. Now, obviously all of this right here is metal. I say obviously, not quite so, because there are plenty of revolvers out there in the airsoft world that look like metal, but they're actually plastic. This right here, full metal. Now, one of the things that I love about this revolver, which is very practical, especially for gameplay, is that it does have a safety switch. And what's even cooler, if you look on the side, it has a safety switch indicator. As you can see there, you've got your little F and a red dot. Now, if I push this switch forward, you see an S, which puts it into safe mode. 
Now on this KWC model 357, it has single action and double action. So basically to fire this revolver, you can either pull the hammer back, then pull the trigger, or you can just go straight to pulling the trigger. Listen for the reset. Nice. You really do get a lot for such a small package because on this particular revolver, you have your rear and front sight, but the cool thing is, your rear sight is adjustable. Okay, so now let's move along to the cylinder. Now, just like its real counterpart, you have your cylinder release right here. You simply pull that back and push your cylinder out. Now, you know I'm gonna have to do it. You know I've got to. Ha! So, that brings me to these six shells that you get in the box, okay? Cartridges. And this is why I love Airsoft revolvers. Because it makes it just that bit more authentic in terms of how you use this piece. So let's get these out. These cartridges right here, they're hollow, okay? There's nothing inside them. However, you will change that as soon as you put a BB in it. Now, there's various ways you can do this. You can put a few BBs on a very clean, sterile table and just do that and your cartridge is ready. Well, your table doesn't have to be sterile. Just make sure there's no bits and dirt on there because you really don't want dirty BBs going in your airsoft gun. So another way to do it is to just grab a BB and pop it in the top and your cartridge is ready. And another way you can do it is just grab a cartridge and if you've got a little ammo box like this, you just dump it in there like that and your cartridge is ready. <laughs> and at this point, I would like to point out, don't worry about damaging BBs if you dump your cartridge in your ammo box like that because the top brown section is not metal, that's plastic. The lower section of your cartridge is metal. And also, there are no risks of double feeding your cartridges because at the top of that cartridge, there is only room for one BB. But I prefer to just hold the cartridge and delicately pop one in. Now, although you get this handy little speed loader, I think it's much more authentic if you pop them in one by one. <laughs> Look at that bad boy. <laughs> Russian roulette, anyone? No, don't do that. Putting them in one by one is my preferred way of doing things. However, you do have a speed loader. So let me quickly show you how this works. So a bit like the actual cylinder on the revolver itself. Now, once your cartridges are all in, you then grab hold of this piece right here. You push that up, turn it to the right. And now they are secure. They will not fall out until you put them in your revolver. Let me just show you that from the side look. And Bob's your uncle. But hey, let me take them out because what I wanna show you next is how to install your CO2. Very quick, very simple. Now, to get these out, you can just turn it upside down or just push this ejection rod. So you grab your supplied Allen key, put it into the base, unscrew it until this piece comes out. Grab your CO2, drop it in your grip. However, if you don't have a CO2 that has silicon oil already included inside this little canister, you wanna drop some on the tip right there or spray a little down there. And then you screw the base back on. Until you hear that little hiss. Okay, so let's get the cartridges back in and let's take it to the range.
do you know what? <laughs> it is so much more satisfying doing it this way. Look at that. How authentic does that look? Until you turn it this way around and then you realize it's airsoft. <laughs> Wait, I need to talk to you about some pros and cons before we even do a shooting test. Now, as much as I love revolvers, I mean, come on, how awesome do they look? When it comes to gameplay, you really are going to be at a disadvantage unless it's a themed gameplay where everyone on the field has a revolver with six shots. Then it's a level playing field and my negative, or should I say cons, go out the window. But imagine if you're at a regular Airsoft gameplay site and you rock up with one of these bad boys or even today's little beauty and you're firing your shots and after the sixth shot, you're out and your opponent rocks up with one of these. Straight away, you're going to be at a disadvantage because we're talking at least 20, 22 plus rounds in one of these mags, you're having to reload the cylinder one by one with a cartridge. Of course, putting the BBs in each one, you could always do that beforehand, have a few cartridges. So I would suggest buy more cartridges. But by the time you've done all that, your opponent fires his final shot, dumps his mag, grabs another, and he's good to go again. And in the meantime, you're But you know what? Who cares? I love an airsoft revolver. <laughs> okay, let's keep this nice and simple. You see these targets across the top. I'm going to send a BB down range <laughs> at each one of these targets right here, just to give you an idea of how small these targets are. This is a AA battery, so you can see what I'm working with. Now, do remember how short this barrel is so the range is not going to be the best in the world and the accuracy may suffer a little because it's a very short barrel. But hey, let's do this. Let me get some iPro on, take note of the BBs and the distance. And today I'm going to be just a little bit closer than usual. So, as you know, I am very honest when it comes to my reviews. I'm not gonna do any trickery or anything like that. I already explained it's a very short barrel, so accuracy is not gonna be its strongest point, but it is a beautiful, <laughs> concealable sidearm. However, look, this was my first attempt. Keep in mind the very short barrel on this piece the fact that these are very small, even though my shots were not on target, the fact that they were anywhere near these very tiny individual targets, I would say that is not bad at all. Now, if I had the six inch version of this, which I will eventually get, I would expect slightly better results. In fact, much better results. So as we get to these targets right here, as I realized I've really got to steady my aim, I was getting a bit better. As you can see there, that particular shot got closer. And then finally, on target D, look, I've actually got a shot on target. But have you noticed? Nothing in E. Well, that's because the shot ended up all the way <laughs> over there. So, as you know, this is a six shot revolver I've got one more shot to go, and I'm gonna go again for target E. Now that's 
what I'm talking about, okay? <laughs> I steadied my aim even more. I adjusted the sight slightly and I'm getting better results. That is fantastic considering the length of this barrel. Let's chrono this. Oh, so there you go, as you can see there, the FPS was kind of all over the place and then it sort of settled down. It's kind of hard to give this an average reading, but I would say you are looking at about 350, 360 FPS. Awesome. So what are my final thoughts on this KWC model 357? The pros and cons. Well, let's go with the cons. As I mentioned earlier, if you're going to take this for gameplay, you are going to be limited with your sidearm. Because yes, you only get six shots out of it. You've got to buy way more cartridges and have them all pre-filled with BBs. And you've got to take into consideration, even with the speed loader, you're still going to be at a disadvantage to someone who has, for example, a semi-automatic pistol, like a Glock, like a 1911, like, you know, whatever. So there's that. Then you've got this thing where the FPS was all over the place. Now that could be down to one or two things. Could it have been the CO2? Could it have just been this particular model? I don't know. Either way, at least it was more often than not giving me a very satisfactory, powerful FPS reading. So I would say this thing would probably shoot between 350 to 400 FPS comfortably. And the final con for me, no hop up. Well, it's fixed. There's no adjustable hop up. But when you take into consideration the size of this thing, how small the barrel is, well, yeah, it's forgiven. <laughs> now for the pros. Oh my gosh, what a sturdy bit of kit. It's got a nice weight to it. It's solidly built, predominantly made out of metal apart from the grips, but even the grips are this nice sort of rubberized texture. It's concealable, so awesome if you're going to carry this as a sidearm in gameplay and have it concealed. And of course, if you're into that authenticity of reloading a revolver, it's all here. It's just like the real thing, the way you operate this bad boy. So for me, it's a thumbs up and I would probably give this about 8 out of 10. And I'm definitely going to go for the 6 inch version also. This is the KWC Model 357. Please do check the video description below so you can see an idea of what you would be expected to pay for one of these and also the different retailers that stock this. So I guess all that's left for me to say is thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Hmm, yeah, enjoyed that one. I must say my subs, they're really pushing up nicely, wow. I'm gonna have to do something very special for my subscribers once I hit 200,000. Maybe another massive giveaway, I don't know, or a collab with a huge YouTube channel, or maybe bring on one of my celebrity friends. Nah, that will shock my subscribers too much. Or maybe I could tell them what movies I've been in. No, that will give away my identity. <sighs> Let me turn this mic off. <laughs>